y'all out here really trying to cancel everybody. Like who, who is left? Hey girlfriends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today we are taking things to a whole nother level. Now, as you saw from the title, there's a big debacle going around about if Eco Styler Gel is canceled. If something is canceled, that usually means that like one or two influencers said something, posted about it, and then the entire world turned against it in a matter of like three days. I mean, hey, that's why they call us influencers. But there's nothing really wrong with that per se if you also completely agree with what they're talking about. I don't really like to say that things are canceled because they don't work for me. I just say, I'm not going to use it because of X, Y, Z. But hey, I'm going to break this down for you because if you're going to cancel one thing, you got to check the ingredients and everything else and cancel everybody else, right? Like it's only fair. So I usually don't like to talk about these type of topics on my channel. I like to keep things pretty positive. I don't like to push the envelope, but today... So if you've been living under a rock, this whole thing started because one YouTuber named Alopecia Free with Jazz, she made a video about why she stopped using Eco Styler Gel. Then, like a year later, Brie Hall saw her video, made a whole video about her video, and then said why she also stopped using it. Now, the reason why they both stated that they canceled these products is because of the chemicals found inside of the hair products. Now, if you're worried about chemicals, boy, do I have some breaking news for you. This giant jug of jelly that costs about $5 isn't a natural hair product. <laughs> I know, I know. I've been looking for where it says it's a natural hair product. Don't recall seeing this at Whole Foods, but it's not. This is a big old jelly that I used to use back in middle school, high school to make my curls so hard that I wouldn't get any frizz. Like the harder my curls, the better. And that was my only goal before I knew about curly hair and natural hair products. And you know, Eco Styler was my friend. I really haven't used it since and I was just about to start using it and then it got canceled. So I wanted to know why. So today I'm gonna show you every single gel I have and we're gonna go through all the ingredients and see what else we're gonna have to cancel if we're gonna cancel Eco Styler Gel. Now one of the main ingredients that she said was a problem is triethylonamine, also known as TEA, which is inside this gel, okay? So let's say we're canceling all gels with TEA. So that means I have to cancel all, if not majority, of the Eco Styler gels. I also would have to cancel my Curl Keeper gel, which y'all know is my favorite and my most recommended for people that live in humid areas. And get this, hold your horses. my dippity do girls with curls jelly. So you're telling me that I have to cancel the two gels that make my hair look the most amazing? Am I canceling them? <laughs> no, I'm not. Y'all, I'm not canceling all of my favorite gels. I'm just not gonna do it. These gels are so good that even if they had silicone, I just might I can't. I'm not letting go of these gels. But I will make a deal with you. If I die early of some type of chemical imbalance, y'all get permission to put on my tombstone, well, she shouldn't use that gel. Can you imagine if I, Bianca Renee, died of hair gel? I mean, it might actually be kind of fitting. The next ingredient that they said was a problem is tetrasodium, EDTA, which is found in the Curls Blueberry Bliss Jelly, another crowd favorite. The next bad ingredient is polysorbate 20, which is found in the Jane Carter Curls to Go Coiling All Curls Elongating Gel. It's also found in the Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel and in your beloved Bounce Curl Gel. The video also stated that it could be dangerous to use products that have fragrance slash perfume in them. 
which would then cancel the Cantu Styling Stay Glue Gel. It would cancel the Amica Enhancing Gel. It would cancel the Diva Curl Believe In, and it would cancel the very natural Briogeo Curl Charisma Gel. So you're telling me you want me to cancel all of my gels? Oh no, 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 no. So I say all this to say, there's chemicals in everything and literally everything we do can have a negative side effect. If you leave a water bottle in the car, apparently it can give you cancer. See these nails? Breaking news, my nails aren't naturally blue with sparkles. I know, I thought they grew up that way too, but these are acrylic and I leave them under like this UV light that's probably like oozing cancer into my fingers. Now don't get me wrong, I've already, I know I've already pissed off at least 30% of you, y'all are just hovering over that dislike button. There's nothing wrong with being cautious and wanting to be healthy. That's totally fine. But what a lot of people have a problem with this whole eco styler being canceled thing is that if you cancel one thing, you kind of have to apply those same judgmental precautions to everything else. Some of you might be surprised that I feel this way because I am a very strong advocate of using products that are sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. Paraben is like that main one that like everybody just kind of knows to avoid. But the main two I really look for are sulfates and silicones. But like I said, you can use those products if they don't affect your hair. I have a whole video on silicone and in that video I explain who can use silicone and, and sulfate. If you use it all the time and you literally have no problem with dryness, no problem with hair growth, your hair is shiny, it, you're just perfect, continue to use it. But I have noticed if I use sulfate, my hair is drier, and if I use silicone, it's known to coat your hair, therefore not allowing moisture in. I have reasons as to why I don't do that. And I honestly am not even mad at alopecia, Jess, or Brie Hall because they used Eco Styler Gel and they both had bad reactions to it. They were saying that they were getting dry scalp, that their eyes were burning, that it had a very strong smell. I mean, let me just take a quick whiff of this pile of cancer real quick. It doesn't have a strong alcohol smell for me. This one is their argan oil one, so it actually smells pretty good. But I will stop sniffing it just in case I OD on camera. But I am glad that they spoke out and talked about their reaction to the gel, just in case another viewer watching had that same reaction. If you did, stop using it. But if you're someone that's been using Eco Styler Gel for years and has had no problems and have actually just gained beautiful defined curls, maybe keep using it. My rule of thumb with every skincare, makeup, or hair product that I recommend, I will never say this doesn't work at all, no way, never, how could it be possible? Because there could be someone out there that it works for and you really don't know until you try. You guys saw how many gels I just pulled out? Is every hair brand secretly trying to kill us? Maybe. But I mean, we already live in a world with a lot of problems. And we already have a lot to worry about. So if I could remove a couple things from my worry list, like gel, I'm gonna do it. And I mean, like the way my faith is set up, dang, she's bringing religion into this too. She's really trying to get some thumbs down. If God wants me to die from hair gel, who am I to stop his plan? But in the meantime, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pray over my gels. I'm gonna pray the chemicals away and I'm just gonna let my curls continue to slay. So what do you think? Do you use Eco Styler Gel? Does it make your scalp itchy? Does it make you have an allergic reaction? Does it make your eyes burn? Does it smell weird? If so, please stop using it. But on the other hand, if you've always used it and have always loved it, are you gonna stop using it? Or are you just gonna continue to have fabulous curls? If you enjoyed this video and like when I keep it real, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, 
once on Friday and once on Sunday. And let's take our relationship to the next level and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.